Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Munsters. I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. The best way is to, of course, hit that like and subscribe button. They're both free and they help the channel greatly. So thank you very much for doing so. Also, Patreon's a great way to support. Links are in the description for exclusive content. Let's get right to the bloopers, guys and gals. I love the Munsters and I hope that these picks are are pretty fun for you to see as well. I love to show these things to you. Let me know if you found any of these bloopers while you were watching the show. I would love to hear in the comments down below. First one comes from season one, episode six, Low Cal Monster. Now you begin the episode pretty much with Herman going on this kind of a rampage. It's pretty funny and he gets to the fence to this block wall right on the perimeter of his house. Now he knocks down a section. If you look the way that it's set up, he actually hits the wall and it's already pre-planned so that it falls in a particular way. Now notice how it falls when it does fall. All the edges are completely clean. There's no jagged edges, which would be a normal thing when you break through something cinder blocky like this. Everything would kind of be pulverized but no you get these clean cuts and that's because the fence was constructed to break away it's kind of nice to notice in a way it is subtle but it is therefore a pretty cool blooper to look at now let's reverse back to when herman first broke through his front door you notice that there is nothing coming through the door but i will highlight for you the outline of his body or basically the outline of what will break when he runs right through it again this would not be present if this were a normal breaking through a door and then pretty much when he breaks through, you can see the piece that came out. So it's kind of funny to see the pre-outline. It's like when you try to cut out a piece of paper and it's pre-cut. Pretty funny. Now, season one, episode 27, it's called Monsters on the Move. This is one where they're planning on destroying the Monsters mansion. And you see Herman come out and talk to basically the foreman. Dennison is his name. Now, pay attention. I will highlight it for you right below Herman. Now, most people are paying, to, paying attention to what he's saying and what he's doing. Very few are paying attention to his feet and what's going on down there. You will see a wire extending basically from an area and going into his trousers up his boot. It's very apparent. And I wondered what could this be? One, I thought it might be a cooling unit for his suit. His suit was really bulky and hot. So it could be like a fan water system. But then I kind of ruled that out. I'm more thinking it's kind of a mic or sound system and the reason is because of the connections. They look very similar to some mic connections that I've seen the old ones with the three prongs and if you're musicians or know mics really well you will know what I'm talking about. But it looks like those two are connected and pretty much as he's walking across in the scene you can see him with this wire hanging out and it's not part of the scene so it's pretty funny to look at. Did you ever spot it? Now this is a real fun one guys and gals. It comes from the episode Mummy Munster. It is season one, episode 32. Now notice here, Herman is kind of trapped and hiding inside a coffin. Again, a very funny episode. I always love the Egyptian theme and it came out really nice. Uh, he pops out of the coffin and then we see a man see him and get scared. So he runs out and basically crashes through a door. Notice the coloring on the doors. They look pretty much even. And then right before he runs through them, you'll see the one that he runs through becomes really dark. That's of course because it's a breakaway door to nature him to perform the stunt pretty cool if you spot it now let's jump to a season 2 episode 15 it's called Herman's Peace Offensive. What's great about this one is that we see Herman the boxer. We see him like that in a couple episodes, but in this one, we see him punch a wall. It's actually in their dungeon. This wall is made out of, of course, solid stone. And as he punches through it, he goes through the facade. This is, a, of course, a TV movie prop facade. But when he pulls out his hand, you can see the support structure through the hole. It's it's something that was definitely not supposed to be spotted, but the camera still picked it up. Season 2, episode 16. It's called Herman Picks a Winner. Now there's a lot of them in this one, and I'm only going to name two of them for you, so you get two for one. The first one is you see Herman pretty much fall down from a high level and he lands on a really thin ledge. Now a bat comes down, it is revealed that that is pretty much sent by grandpa or grandpa himself and he has an anti-gravity pill in its mouth. Now what's really funny if you pay attention to the pill, it goes from a round pill, which I show here, to an oval pill. So the pill in itself I guess is magical because it changes shape but that's kind of interesting. A really funny blooper. Now if you continue watching, the bat flies away. Now the camera pans up pretty 
aggressively, which results in you being able to see the rod that is basically holding up the puppet bat. And you can see a little bit of a string, but mostly it is that rod that makes its way into the camera. And then quickly when they realize that they pull it out of frame, but it's too late, we've seen it. And it's part of this blooper list. Okay guys and gals, so I guess I kind of lied because I told you I wasn't going to give you all of the bloopers, and I won't give you all of them, but I just wanted to give you this one because I think it's so great. Like I said, Herman jumps off uh, pretty much the side ledge, or he jumps off the balcony, and you can see the men come up to the balcony and look down to where Herman is supposed to be. Now the camera pans too far down, you can even see there's a sack or some type of mattress to kind of help if anyone falls down but you can see how close the ground is this is supposed to be a building that is stories many stories down we can clearly see there's a floor here it's only what about a two foot drop so it's pretty funny and the last one from this video guys and gals comes from a great episode one of my favorites of the entire series season two episode 28 called herman the tire kicker now this is the one where herman goes and buys a car but he goes to buy it from frank gorshin or the man who played the riddler in the batman series who is of course a con artist in this episode it's such a great one you should watch it now, right after Herman buys a car, all of them pack and go away because they're, of course, con men, and they get all of their cars into this semi-trailer. If you watch this episode, you will know what I mean, but I'll show you that this trailer is fairly small. You could probably only put one or two cars max in it, but they pretty much load more than four cars here and one after another. They seem to kind of disappear. They go in there, and then all of a sudden, another one goes in there. It's kind of like a clown car, like it just keeps coming out and who knows what is happening here. It's kind of a magical semi-trailer and then they haul away, but definitely a major blooper in this episode. There is absolutely no way that all those cars could fit in that small trailer. A very big shout out and a big thanks to executive producers, Andy, David, and Joe for being amazing supporters of the channel as well as all of my Patreon supporters. If you wanna become a Patreon member and have exclusive content only seen on Patreon, don't forget to visit the page. Links are in the description. I also have coffee mugs and other cool merchandise for you to look at. Links in the description as well.